Hello Ag Week TV, this is Ryan Taylor, your Cowboy Logic columnist, coming to you from out in the shop, right next to my brand new 1940 Model H John Deere that some friends of mine just recently restored for me. I learned a lot of lessons on two-cylinder John Deere's as a kid because that's really all my dad ran for hand tractors was two-cylinder John Deere's. He had a couple of these, a lot of B's, a lot of A's, an R, and a 60. And I remember having a Model A John Deere about like this one that had a throttle like this with a spring right here. And I remember if I would pull that spring back while I was bucking hay, it would make that tractor just roar and it would take off lickety split. And I remember asking my dad one time what that spring was all about and what would happen if I kept pulling that spring back to make it do that. And he said, well, Ryan, that's part of the governor. And if you keep pulling that spring back, I reckon you're going to blow that tractor up. And I learned a little lesson right then and there about moderation, that maybe that tractor didn't need to go so fast if you wanted to keep it running. And I think about that in life as well, that maybe we don't need to go so fast or always lickety split if we want to keep ourselves running. And that means, I guess, that sometimes we twist off early from the field to go watch our kids' baseball game. Maybe we make sure that we uh, have time for date night with our wife once in a while. And maybe we just take a little time for ourselves from time to time. And I learned that on the seat of a John Deere tractor that went pop, 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 pop. And I just thought I'd pass that along to you this week. This has been your Cowboy Logic Minute with Ryan Taylor. We'll see you next time.